Hey, hi everyone and welcome to the final reading of the year for the Psy Collective Conscious Remote Viewing Reading. We will use two cards from the traditional tarot as well as our standard ones from the Psy deck. December seems to be quite active, a lot of uh, astrologers are saying, as well as November was a very active month. Of course, November had the energies of the triple eleven portal energy going through it. So a lot of people, I think, felt sort of an extra energy around the month of November. There certainly were a lot of different activations on the planet, as well as with people, geological and weather related too. So let's shuffle first of all these cards here, two of the tarot cards for the month of December, the last month for 2018. And let's see what comes up, what collective conscious energies are going to be saying to us. Oh, the Seven of Swords. <laughs> One of my least favourite cards. Great. Oh, goodness. The Ten of Swords. Okay. That's not what I would call a good start, but at least it's the finish of the year and we're moving into 2019. Okay, so the Seven of Swords can often mean deceit, lies, corruption, something being hidden from us but it can be being found out when the seven of swords is around so if there has been something going on underground whether it be at a personal level with any of you or as is so more often intended for this particular type of reading it's the greater picture so it often refers to countries or political bodies such as governments or uh, more public figures should we say so if there has been something hidden hidden agenda underground covert negative bad going on in the background it's likely to be surfaced to be uh, found out to be activated even possibly in the month of December so given that it's the swords cards and there's two swords swords are often about communication and they're often about thinking and thought processes as well. So there could be a lot of extra barrage of communication one way or another with either countries or politicians or situations or between, into between countries and ideas and principles, morals and ethics. And again, this one does show us a degree of cheating or hiding something or trying to get away with something that they know they shouldn't. The Ten of Swords is just as gloomy, if you like. It has the same yellow, a little bit of yellow background, but this kind of oppressive dark black up here. So the Ten of Swords is often known about the final stab in the back, and it can be literally from someone like this guy, this rotten kind of cheating person, and he is clearly looking straight back at those swords. So... The, the Ten of Swords, the person lying on the ground, can feel very deflated at something they have believed was perhaps going in the right direction or was it going to have a better outcome and then suddenly, out of the blue, boom, it all goes to crack and ruin and they think, well, how did this happen? Why, why did we get to this point? So this could also be referring to talks that have been going on for some time and I'm thinking between big countries such as America and China or uh, America and North Korea or Russia and the Ukraine or Russia and China or Russia and America. It could have some implications along these lines that things fall apart or go in a different direction than was intended or expected or anticipated. The only good thing about the Ten of Swords is that it's the end point of something and you then move into a new direction. Now what the new direction is, we don't know yet. Is it a good new direction? Is it a change for the positive or is it a change for the negative? Those two cards bode quite a negative inference or a negative energy about them. So with that in mind, let's uh, see what the side cards are actually going to show up for this December month. I hope it's a little bit better than those gruesome partners. 
in crime. That's, that's about what they're like. This, this can even signify something like the death of someone and it could be someone public or notable or famous. That's a possibility as well. So, or maybe not necessarily the death, but sometimes the demise of someone, the demise of someone's health. So we will have to keep our eyes open in December. Okay. It could even be the demise of a political life you know like somebody resigns or goodness I hope not I hope there's not an assassination attempt that okay well let's see what these six cards are the cave the beauty the yes card <laughs> I'm going to just remove the yes card probably shouldn't have been in the deck it's not really very relevant for these particular readings so I'm just going to put it aside and carry on with the total number of cards that, w that we usually use which is six mm. okay well the best card in there is the beauty um, it's interesting, I have never ever seen the voyage and the message come out together. They have a very similar energy to me. They have they kind of duplicate their messages because the voyage is clearly about a ship and a boat and it's on sea. And the message card reminds me of a boat because this is a fishing net. And so it reminds me of the sea and boats. The sun card depicts the sun up here with rays of energy coming from it and this card above it has like a sun energy with rays coming from it as well. So there's something going on here about that. Now I did ponder to myself would the sun card come out for December because if you change the letter U in the middle to O, the sun, this could be quite a nice energy meaning the son of God, for, for people who are religious, refers to Christ. And of course, it's Christmas in December, which is the celebration of his birthday. So there could be a really nice pattern in here from that perspective. I did think the sun might come out and reference that particular message. So let's start off with the cave. In the past, I've noted the cave to often appear when there are massive storms and people feel like they have to hunker down and hide and they're trapped in either their houses or in places where they've had to go, like a, you know, a big area where people are housed for a short while during the storm. Now, this card came out when there was the big Sandy Hook storm and other big tornadoes or big really meaty storms that mess up shorelines and cities and towns. These two cards also reference a lot of things being disturbed with our oceans which can often happen in a big cyclonic storm activity. The other thing the card can reference is this feeling of needing to protect oneself, of feeling like you want to uh, go into hiding or you feeling a, like you're in a battled state that you can't take much more you this person in the cave is you know lying there on the floor just hunkering down saying no I don't want to hear it I don't want to see it I don't want to be involved in it almost like a state of depression and of course the cave card is sitting right next to these two which have already been saying that this type of energy is around this kind of like why did this happen? How did it get out of control? How do we fix it? And nobody seems to know because it's it's out of control at the moment. So the cave has that feeling as well. It also relates to underground or hidden activities or things that we can't see in the night, in the dark, which is very much resemblance of this as well. So sometimes it can be underground things such as tunnels or caves or subways and places like that as well. If we move to the beauty card it often represents someone from a European part of the globe and sometimes the UK and sometimes even London. Now it can often be a female usually and it can be say royalty 
or celebrities, pop stars, movie actresses, people like all politicians. So there's a whole message in here that usually when that card turns up there's an announcement about a female famous person in an unusual manner. So whether it's the announcement of something like a pregnancy or the birth of a baby or a marriage or divorce or a death is a possibility. And you will be surprised but quite often it is associated with the UK and sometimes with London itself and of course we have both uh, the royalty that live in and around London for the best part as well as the UK's political fray and Theresa May who they may not live in London themselves but that's where the heart of their politics is carried out from so there could be something surrounding any of those people as well in this month of December I know they're going through the Brexit move at the moment in the UK and she's had some sort of finalization approved but there's a lot of you know, unhappiness and discourse going on back and forth between governments, nationals, people, the public, politics, powers that be. We come to the voyage card and we see the boat there clearly on the water. Can infer that there could be a, a problem with boats, so ships one way or another. This can mean that there are either accidents with them or there's some unusual news or event around big boats or ships. Yeah, it can be container ships, it can be passenger ships, things along those lines. It can also indicate bad weather or storms at sea, and we've talked about that before with the cave. With the sun up here, it sometimes indicates earthquakes in that part of the globe. Now, it looks like a really older part of the globe to me, so it looks like the northern hemisphere and up through the European or up into the Iranian, Pakistan type areas, they could be perhaps involved or indicated one way or another in this card whether it be for weather issues or storms or boating issues or earthquakes is something that we could watch now boating issues could also reference things like canals being shut or shipping channels being shut or problems with the transfer of oil via, via boat or trade and stock via boat as well we come down to the message and it's very similar. Now the message card was definitely out during the Japanese tsunami in 2011. It was also out in the recent tsunami we had back in September I think it was when there was a big tsunami up in the Philippines. So it can be indicative of that. It could suggest that there are earthquakes, sea related earthquakes that cause movement within our oceans that could possibly create tsunamis or alter the sea level, you know, sea walls being altered and water ingressing villages, towns or cities one way along that type of thing. It also talks to us about boats, ships, vessels and it also talks to us about animals because clearly the fish are in there. So possibly fish die-offs or mass whale strandings which we have just had here in New Zealand two really uh, unusually large whale strandings. So there's a possibility we'll see more of those as well. We see the sage, I sometimes think of the Pope when we see him, or religious figures globally around the world. He also indicates the use of intellectual advancement. He's got a book in front of him and he's doing some sort of mathematical calculations. So sometimes this card represents new knowledge coming forth, especially about technological advancement or things to do with space in particular and how we are moving forward with that. It also pertains to new information coming from areas like space. We have just of course had the new Mars lander from NASA land a few days ago in late October so whether or not there's some really interesting new information that comes through in the month of December that could be something to keep aware of. So the sage often talks about looking up to the stars to the heavens and to uh, further education and knowledge and awareness of who we are and where we're headed. The sun is not dissimilar in as much that we're talking about out in space or we're talking about the sun. Perhaps again there are some unusual solar activities for the month of December which can indicate or you know preclude back here 
energies that uh, affect us one way or another, such as massive storm surges or storm cells that are created. That if there's a big, uh, like an X-class flare, which we haven't had for a very long time because the sun is in its solar minimum, but if there is something like a large flare that can set off uh, quakes back here, it can also disrupt power, it can affect aviation, it can affect our satellites, electricity. It also affects humans because we're electrical by nature. So the, you know, a lot of people can be affected one way or another by anomalies in the sun's energy. We also see the children around the maypole. So children could be, again, Highlighted in the month of December, they were also highlighted in the month of November. So that can mean, you know, not particularly nice things that happen to groups of children or for young children globally, one way or another. I see the crops in the foreground and I often think of crops being overcooked, so parched, dry, as if it's too hot in some places and that we lose crops one way or another. Now we can lose crops through not enough water or through too much water such as massive storms or through something like a massive quake where a landslide happens and takes out thousands of paddy fields or where there's an earthquake, yes, sorry, where there's a quake and a landslide happens or where there's a quake and something like a tsunami happens. So crops could be affected in the month of December. Uh, globally and again I'm thinking more in the possibly in that northern hemisphere area even up perhaps through somewhere like North Korea or up into that Indian Chinese area could be where we're targeting for this type of energy. So I think personally it's a little bit of a gloomy reading. I think it started gloomy with those two very powerful sword energy cards and they're just not my favourite type. They don't bode well. They have a little bit of a negative stigma attached to them. And also I think the cave kind of seems to amplify that a little bit. The way he's in there hiding from something. He's keeping something underground and hidden. And not wanting to face it. So there we are everyone. Please add all your comments and your thoughts as well. Because that's how the series grows everyone contributes on um, you know towards insight and awareness one way or another you can ponder what you think the cards are take your time and then whatever comes up add it at, in the comment section which is really a great thing to do so I do wish you all a very safe and happy December ahead for those of you who celebrate Christmas, a Merry Christmas, but even if you don't, the whole reason really behind Christmas is the art of giving, connecting and love. So there's nothing better to try and celebrate and to focus on at this time on the planet. So I wish you all great love and light and happiness for December. Thank you for subbing the channel and being part of us on the journey. And I look forward to being with you guys for 2019. Take care everyone. Much love.